my name is Asim Anwar and this is the chapter 3 of protractor automation and in this chapter we will write our first automated script using protractor with jasmine however we will also write a program using protractor with cucumber in our next chapter so let's write our first automation script in jasmine Step 1 Open Visual Studio Code. And step 2 is create a spec file. So I'll close this welcome window and go to File, Create New File. Save this file with the name of spec dot js javascript file it is and i will be storing this file in user folder over here say over here in this spec file uh, I'll tell you what to write but uh, before that we'll create a configuration file and we'll write the code in configuration file first then we'll move to the spec file okay so go to visual studio code click on file create new file and save this file as conf dot js and uh, it is in javascript file save the same file on the same location where we have saved our spec file and the location was this one i guess yeah this one in the user self save it save the file now I uh, will go and see our file in file folder so here we have these two files configuration.js and spec.js file now we will write to configuration for automating the test case the configuration starts with exports dot config equal to open and close curly braces within this we'll mention direct connect true it means we don't need to explicitly add selenium web driver to execute our test case with the help of with the help of direct connect to our test case will directly launch into the specific browser whatever we will mention by default if you don't mention any browser in the capabilities section then it will launch automatically in the chrome browser because chrome is a default browser for protractor also now we'll mention the location of spx files and I will be creating a specs file in the default repository. So this is the current repository, and here I will I will name this file as spec.js. Okay, now save this file. This is it. However, we can add many options in the configuration file, but we will see this in our upcoming chapters. As of now you can leave this file as is and it will work flawless now go to spec.js and in jasmine uh, we will be writing our automation test case in jasmine so jasmine uh, basically is a framework which uses describe in it block to write a logic so we'll start our describe block describe 
actually need to describe it what you want to automate so I'll say open angular or I would say put vector put vector website function it will be a function and within this describe block we'll have to add in it block it and it will be same as describe block so it's like sh should open website comma function and here we'll call our selenium methods so we'll call browser dot get and we'll pass the url of uh, protractor website so here this uh, here i have this uh, protractor website open in my chrome browser I've copied the URL and I'll paste this URL here. After this, I will add a CD for three seconds so that you can see once the page is open. Okay, so I'll add browser dot slave. This is I'm just adding to show you once the page is open. In the real example or in the real project you don't need to add browser or select explicitly our file is ready now we can execute our test cases open this terminal go to this terminal tag and here you just need to call proprietor conf dot js so what will happen this command will call this configuration file and in this configuration file our browser will set as direct connect so we ha we haven't mentioned the browser so by default it will launch the chrome okay and uh, we have passed specs as spec.js so it will call this spec file and in this spec file we have written this simple logic to open this protractor test.org url all set so let's execute this hit enter so browser has been launched and it has called protector control test protector test.org ok but the browser was small so let's uh, maximize our browser window so there is a command called browser dot driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this command will maximize our window size let's execute this test case again ok so browser has been launched and ideally it should maximize our browser if it ok it has maximized our browser and called the protector website that's it for this session hope you like the session thank you for watching